Securing the Fire, Authorization and Validation. In the last section, we used what we learned about properly structuring data in a Firebase database to improve the scalability and maintainability of our LiveLinks application. Now that our data is properly structured, it must be properly secured. This is often the most difficult and important part of building web applications. We'll learn how to add permissions and validation rules using the Firebase dashboard and try some out in the debugger console. We'll then look at some of the built-in methods and helper mechanisms Firebase provides to allow the crafting of more sophisticated rules. Finally, we'll put it all together by starting to secure our live links application using permissions and validation rules. In this video, Data Validation and Authorization, we will explore the mechanism by which Firebase allows us to ensure valid data is being sent to our application by only the individuals who are authorized to. We'll show that Firebase databases are wide open by default, add an authorization and validation rule, and demonstrate them in action to show how we can secure our application. Start off by opening the Live Links dashboard in Chrome and navigating to the Security and Rules tab. What we see here is something that looks like a basic text editor with some preliminary JSON formatted data pre-populated. But what does it all mean? Because Firebase relies so heavily on code that is run on the client, it has to take a unique approach to securing the data. In a nutshell, these rules contain the logic that determines whether or not a particular CRUD action is allowed for a given location in the database. The rules we see before us are very simple. They state that anybody can read any of the data in Live Links, and anybody can write any of the data anywhere in Live Links, because authorization rules applied to a node cascade to all its children. Some rules those are, huh? That means our application is wide open to all sorts of malicious behavior. We can fix that by specifying restrictions at specific locations. Let's start by putting some authorization rules in place. We don't want just anybody submitting links in Live Links. We want our users to do that. Open another tab in Chrome and open our index.html file and the debugger tools. First, without logging in, let's confirm that anybody can submit links regardless of whether they're actual users. Create a reference object pointing at the link's location and set a link at an example URL. Checking the data browser in the other tab, we see that it was successful. Not good. Let's prevent this from happening. Open the security and rules section and replace the current content in the rules key with a links node. We want anybody to have read access so that people can see links without having an account. We only want people with user accounts to be able to write to the links location. So let's add a write key and set its value to auth not equal null. Auth is one of many predefined variables Firebase provides for creating rules. What we are ensuring is that an auth object is present before writing to links, something that can only be true if a user is currently logged into the app. Let's try to create a link without a user account like we did earlier. As you can see, we get an error message letting us know that we're not authorized to take this action. This solves our immediate problem, but this won't prevent other users from editing that link and setting more strict rules deeper in the tree will always be overridden by the parent rules. What about validation? Suppose we want to make sure that links have titles that aren't too long. To set validation rules, you create a .validate key for a given node and set some validation logic to that key's value. Add a rule at the title location that ensures that a title is no longer than 200 characters. Switch over to the Live Links app again, and let's try to create a link with a huge title. As we can see, the attempt is rejected with the descriptive error message. To recap, we became more familiar with the rules and security editor in the Firebase dashboard. We have a good understanding about what authorization rules are and how they cascade to child nodes. And we created our first validation rule, which will be immediately applicable to our Live Links application. In the next video, Writing Sophisticated Security Rules, we'll explore all of the built in functions and variables provided by Firebase to allow us to create sophisticated and powerful security rules.